Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 5th, 2023. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful three day weekend and are ready to get back to work. We have a little bit of uncertainty facing the market this morning, but we have some bullish patterns. So, what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can glean a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, looking at this price pattern in here, obviously we had a big relief rally last week, surging back up, breaking us back above the 50 day moving average. And now we're pulling back, we're resting, consolidating here just a little bit trying to decide whether or not we're going to hold that and let's keep in mind that um, i've got this line turned red here and it'll stay red until we see this follow through to the upside and then i'll turn that green but you'll want to watch this carefully it is possible with the uncertainty that we kind of see in the market that we could slip back into this trend a little bit maybe a little bit of resting or consolidating after such a big zooming move to the upside. And as you can see, we've got a, a downtrend in here that we're still trying to work on in the diamonds and of course this resistance levels, um, resistance level here that we are still trying to work on. So if the bulls find inspiration today, then I would suggest a push back up here, maybe to test this level in the chart if they can break through this kind of double layer of resistance in the chart then we might start looking up in here and i think that if we were to break up through here could even trigger a bit of a short squeeze um, to the upside so watch that carefully if the bears however happen to find inspiration well then let's look for this pushback down into this area maybe to test that 50 day moving average which isn't quite all the way down there to that um, area just just slightly lower maybe a test down in here you can see we'll miss that support area that i've got marked with a red line right there so we'll want to watch that carefully if that were to fail however if we slip back below that then i suspect we're going to come back down into this region of the chart which would still be a healthy condition for the diamonds because we may we're maintaining that upside trend now if we take a look at the spy spy as you can see we did break this trend but we've rallied right back up to the underneath side of that trend trying to say um, we're not concerned here at all in the market so and that may be true as we continue to see the big tech stocks just stretching and stretching and stretching to the upside valuations just really don't seem to matter anymore as long as we can continue talking about ai about every 25 seconds um, in the market we don't really know what it means yet but boy do we love it and looking in here if the bull find inspiration here today then I would suggest another pushy to test uh, Friday's um, high in that chart um, to see if we can break through up into these upper regions break back through that resistance level in the chart now one thing i do have to say that is good news on this chart is that we did hold this higher low right in here we didn't quite make that down now that would suggest this is the trend at least for the moment that we have a trend out in this area which suggests that we could see a pretty substantial either pullback to come back down and kind of consolidate that move that would be a pullback into here maybe and consolidate this over to the trend or we spend a considerable amount of time in just consolidation as we push out here into um, that trend now i don't know that either one of those circumstances could be the will be the case uh, with the speculation that we've seen in this market and the really big bullish push uh, thinking that the Fed is going to suddenly back off. You know, one of the things that I think needs to be said on this is we have speculated that the Fed was going to back off for more than a year now 
and we have been wrong the entire period of time. And yet we continue to drive this and the talking heads continue to suggest that they know what's going to happen next. And yet they have been wrong about what the Fed is going to do. So be a little bit careful with that speculation. So once again, if the bulls can find inspiration, maybe we can push through up here. If the bears find some inspiration, let's look for this support area right in here to see if that can hold. If that were to fail, then we might move back into that next area of price support. If we take a look at our QQQ, boy, we have been very, very bullish in the QQQ. NASDAQ pushing up. You can see we broke through this downtrend, pushing to the upside. You can see we are trying to pull back just a little bit this morning, uh, maybe coming back toward that 50-day moving average here in the chart. That would be a bullish scenario if we pulled back in here, held that price support in 50. Notice we've got a trend right in here a little bit of rest a little bit of consolidation perhaps we do resume the upside trend if we can hold those levels here in the chart and then if we take a look um, if we were to break above uh, today I would say a retest up in here to see if we can break that resistance up there if the bears find inspiration maybe a push back to test this support in the chart if we take a look at IWM, now IWM was the strongest of the indexes on Friday. It seemed to um, really want to catch up uh, more than anything else, pushing up into this resistance area. And you can see that we gave that up just a little bit as we headed into the close here. And now we're uh, pushing down a bit here this morning. So watch that carefully. It is entirely possible that with this break, we, we certainly broke several levels of price support as we pulled back here in that chart. Trying to reclaim this area of price support is pretty important. So if we pull back and test that as a support level, then there's a possibility we could continue, make that higher low continue on up in the chart. We will also want to make note that that is possibly a lower high in the chart. And if we were to see this press on back down we'd have to make a new low to resume that downtrend but watching that that certainly is a possibility when you look at that chart so if the bulls can find inspiration today look for a retest of this area up here to see if we can break through that area of resistance in the chart if the bears find inspiration, let's look at this area of support right here to see whether or not they can hold that level of price support in the chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. VIX has been pretty darn remarkable. We went up here, made higher highs and continued to stretch. We broke down trends. And then last week, no fear in the market whatsoever. Even though we continue to see the massive uncertainties out of the European economy and the Chinese economy, we just don't seem to have any concerns. We continue to see our manufacturing PMI week and we're starting to see an increase in joblessness, but that doesn't bother us at all. So watch this carefully. If we continue to see this move to the downside here, maybe there is no fear in the market that we should just be all embracing the, the rush back into these um, very high levels of PE ratio in, in uh, the market. Now, keeping in mind, if the bears were to find some inspiration today, then a bounce off of that wouldn't be a big surprise. Breaking down through here, I think we start running into some complacency in the market. So kind of keep that in mind. If we take a look at our T21, 22, our T2122 indicator, as you can see, pulled back here on Friday, uh, or excuse me, pulled back a little bit on Thursday, rallied a little bit on Friday, and we still have that opportunity. In fact, one point in time early on in Friday, we were up here in the bearish reversal zone on T2122. So if the bulls find inspiration today, we certainly have upside opportunity they can find some inspiration. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of data today to really get them um, uh, really inspired. And then if we take a look, if the bears find inspiration, well, doggone it, 
we um, also have a big opportunity to the downside if the bears were to become inspired in the chart. So remember, T2122 doesn't tell us which way the market's going to go. That's a confusion that we have here an awful lot of time in T2122. This is a four week new high, new low ratio. And if you look at this, all it does is signal when we're kind of overbought and when we're oversold in the market, where we can start looking for selling, when we can start looking for a relief rally. So watch that carefully here in T2122. It's just telling us those pressure points. And you can see we have less opportunity maybe to the upside than we do to the downside because of that stretch last week. And then if we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108 had a good day on Friday pushing up. So we're up here pressing this resistance in the chart. We've got about 43, 44% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. So that's a nice improvement. We did hold in here nicely. So if the test will be if we can find enough inspiration to push on through um, some of that resistance in the chart, continuing that bullish move back up here toward the 50% area of T2101 or T2108. And then if we take a look at T2107, well, T2107 also stretching up nicely and breaking above that 50%. So half of the stock's back above the 200 day moving average. That's a good sign for the market. I will point out the possibility that this could turn into a head and shoulders top if if that were to falter and begin pushing back down with that bearishness we see this morning. So watch that carefully here on our T2107. But right now you gotta give this to the bulls because they held support in here and now we're up here testing the next resistance level in the chart. If we take a look at our T2101, well, T2101 continued to stretch up. Now that's a good sign for the bulls. Because what we've seen here in this relief rally, that the relief rally is pushing hard enough that we see the market breadth pushing with it. Notice we're coming into this little downtrend. Now, T2101 is not really great for trends in this. Remember, we move based on the breadth, the energy that's in the move. And right now we're on that up wave. And that's why I say we've got a little bit of bullishness here because that up wave is continuing to show that momentum to the upside. So watch that carefully. Could it match the bearish wave when we pushed up in that big old bearish wave here? Maybe so. So watch that closely. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see that market breadth kind of hooking over to the downside and just kind of diminishing here, um, unable to break through those resistance levels above. So watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we've got a few things obviously that we need to be paying attention to, but it is a light week on both the earnings and, and economic calendar. If you'll notice in here, really the only thing we've got going for us to provide much inspiration is factory orders and then, of course, bonds. Now, one of the things we are seeing this morning is those bond yields are once again on the rise. So watch that carefully. That can have certainly an effect on the market if we continue to see the cost of money continue to go up. As we progress throughout the week, we're going to have international trading goods. Now, we do have quite a few Fed speakers this week. Uh, for some reason, they're not showing it um, here um, on this economic calendar, but we do have several Fed speakers out there, so we'll have that uncertainty. But we've got international trading goods. We're going to have that mortgage application tomorrow like normal. We've got uh, PMI Composite and ISM services in here. We'll have Beige Book at 2 p.m. Jobless claims, prob um, productivity and costs, natural gas, petroleum status here on Thursday. And again, bond bond auctions we'll have to be paying attention to. Fed balance sheet, you can see there are several Fed speakers in here on uh, Thursday. And then on Friday, virtually nothing. Wholesale inventories 
uh, Baker Hughes, consumer credit, things that no, don't typically move the market at all. So a really light week on the economic calendar, which leaves those bulls and bears searching for inspiration potentially in the news reports. Now on the um, earnings calendar here today, we have a few earnings to be paying attention to that are notable, but not all that much to get too concerned about. AVAV will be reporting today. We're going to hear from um, Carmart here. Uh, pay, uh, pay attention to that one this afternoon. We've got uh, BRC reporting here this morning. Big pop in BRC. Wow, nice move in that earnings report. Um, GTLB will be reporting today. And ZS is really all I could come up with for notables today on the earnings calendar. And honestly, it doesn't get a whole lot more exciting the rest of this week. There are some notables, but it doesn't get a whole lot more exciting. So just kind of keeping in mind that um, we're going to be searching uh, maybe through news reports and things like that for inspiration this week. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that quick favor, that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. Remember, even an emoji counts. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take time to do that. Share these videos on your social media feed. And then also a big shout out to those who continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link which is just below the title of the video thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that you guys are truly awesome let's take a look at a few stocks out here that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security make sure you do your own due diligence make sure you weigh the risks reward of every single trade and that you're following your personal guidelines and your personal trading rules let's take a look at an area that's pretty speculative right now um, very volatile as you can see big point moves big percentage moves here in TLRY. Now, TLRY had the advantage of being able to buy up several brands from Anheuser-Busch, and um, that has pumped this up dramatically here in the chart. Now, I don't want to chase something that zooms like this. Um, I want to wait for some kind of a resting pullback here in the market. Now, with this being such a very small uh, uh, you know, price company. I wouldn't utilize options on this. I'd be more of a stock buyer in here, but a rest or pullback in here that holds, or even if this pops out and then holds, I would look for that next opportunity maybe here in TLRY. This is a big shot in the arm for TLRY, picking up those major brands. So watch that carefully. We also saw some, some moves in CGC. Now, this is kind of a scary one in the sense that <laughs> cannabis has just been, I mean, think about it, since this thing um, has just been down, 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 down here in Canopy. But a little bit of life showing now here in Canopy popping up and it's producing a pattern that we like to see in hit run candlesticks and right way options and that is popping through that 50 day moving average now breaking above here and a pullback that holds that 50 day and holds it in here couldn't actually set up what we call a round of bottom breakout and this would have plenty of upside opportunity if this can hold a higher low so keep an eye on that now i don't get too excited about anything that's you know 50 cents um, and I wouldn't waste a whole lot of time on this, but it is something to be paying attention to if you have a little bit of speculation money that maybe this can start coming back around. Let's take a look at the oil sector. My goodness, oil staying very, very strong. And this is going to be a problem for us, I think, if prices of oil continue to uh, linger up here. This is going to be a problem for our next inflation data because um, oil prices, gas prices are a very big factor 
of our calculation for inflation. We've not seen food prices come down and last week we kind of got surprised with housing prices going up. Everyone was expecting them to go down. So went on up. So our rents, our housing continue to stay up. Food prices and gas prices going up are really going to place a lot of pressure on the consumer. So watch this carefully. We continue to move up as we continue to see those sanctions, not really sanctions, but those production cuts, I should say, out of um, OPEC and Russia really having a major impact on the price of fuel. So watch that carefully. Remember, this is going to be harmful to airlines and anything else that has to pay trucking systems. Everything that um, um, we get shipped to our grocery stores will go up in price based on the higher um, energy costs. So kind of keep that in mind. But there are a lot of stocks out there looking pretty darn good. Take a look at ExxonMobil trying to make that breakout here. Gapping lower here, interesting this morning, but in the pre-market pumping right back up. So watch that closely. And we're seeing a lot of these oil and gas companies surging out to the upside. Take a look at some of the refiners. Um, as well, um, Valero starting to hold up here and look pretty good. Notice we've got this higher low in here that is held and we're starting to move through some of these resistance levels. Look for that next opportunity. You could look at um, Halliburton, Halliburton making those kind of moves as well. So pushing back up here, looking pretty good on that refining side. You might also want to look into the exploration side of things on oil and gas. XOP, um, as you can see, is moving up nicely here, breaking through resistance in the chart, looking quite bullish. So keep a close eye on that. There certainly is a possibility that um, these exploration stocks could be moving higher. And you can go right over here in TC2000 anyway, click one icon, you can look at anything that makes up XOP. And you can see there are some stocks moving nicely here to the upside that I would be keeping an eye on um, if we continue to see these oil and gas prices moving on higher. Now, speaking of gas, take a look at UNG. Now, UNG gapping back down here this morning. This has been struggling in this basing pattern here in, in the chart, but I think as we move into the fall, we're going to it's a seasonal thing. We're potentially going to see UNG start moving on higher. Obviously, the situation over there in Europe is a pretty tough situation when it comes to natural gas. So watch this carefully. We could easily start to see this pushing back up. Um, into the fall and winter period here in the market. Take a look at FedEx. Whoops. FedEx continuing to hold nicely in this pattern. Now I do have a little concern here. If you notice right across there, this could be a lower high starting to show, set up. We broke this low here in the chart. So we need to see this push right back up in here and hold onto that trend. If that were to fail in here, that could be a problem for us. Um, remember, consumers are buying so much online that if we cannot see some of our shippers hold up in here, that could be a problem. If we take a look at IYT, IYT, the Dow Jones Transport, um, if you follow the old Dow theory here in the market, transports need to be moving up to be bullish in the market. You can see we have that possibility here where we've broken some support levels, rally back to a potential resistance area in the chart. If that were to move on lower, that could be a bit of a problem here for the market. So kind of keep an eye on that. Possible short maybe setting up there. Take a look at um, anything right now in the um, uranium sector of the market. This has been really, really strong. This was my last alert here that I had on CCJ. You can see moved up strongly. We are pulling back here this morning, but watch that carefully. If we can hold this trend, look for that next opportunity to the upside. You could also take a look at that URA and UUUU -U -U -U, um, also moving nicely, getting a little pullback here after some pretty big breakouts in uranium. Now, 
we will want to keep um, a pretty close eye here on the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar surging here this morning on those bonds going up, and we're getting all these currency fluctuations with some big drawdowns in the yuan, Chinese yuan, and also the ruble collapsing hard here, and that's improving the dollar strength. As the dollar strengthens, that usually slows down the market. Remember, it costs more dollars now to buy the same product. So watch that closely with that dollar strengthening here. Um, kind of an interesting um, situation here in the market as we get stronger and stronger and stronger. And we're still seeing some of those commodity prices move up, which is odd. You wouldn't typically see that. So with that, guys, I'm running out of time. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for being here. I truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all of the best. Be kind of careful this week. We could see some considerable volatility with kind of the light news out here. We could see a lot of back and forth going on here as we figure out the sensitivities of, of what's going on in China, what's going on in Europe. We try to ferret that out, what that means for our economy as well. Y'all have a great day. I wish you great success in your trading, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.